And so when we talk about technology, whether they are innovative technology, whether it's transformation technology, there's a, there's a good reason for that. Why is it important? It's important because um, not just the global pandemic, right? Even before that, the world has gone through different industrial revolutions. So we do have the current uh, fourth industrial revolution that is coming in. So the first industrial revolution talked about when machines were introduced. So uh, not just uh, peasant farming or cottage farming, um, mach mechanics or, or machines were introduced to help to improve our way of living. So these improved productivity and then this spanned over a hundred years, uh, for instance, beginning in the 17th and 1800th. So there was also a second um, technology transformation or what we call the industrial revolution. That was more of mass production where we talked about improvements in railroads or improvements in um, milling industry, whether it be for uh, windmills or energy or talking about building bridges, roads, concrete, all of that happened. Then the beginning of the third industrial revolution, which is more of the digital um, revolution. So digital revolution saw um, improvements to lean systems, talking about um, harnessing our uh, computer and the digital age. So we're looking at it from the introduction of computers, whether it be analog and then transition into digital, where we're remembering the dot-com boom and all of that, that, that it did provide to us. So the ability for technology to continue to improve the way we live and the way we work has been instrumental to where we are today, which is the fourth industrial um, revolution, which is something that has provided great opportunity with which we talk of hyper automation, whether it's AI, whether it's machine learning, whether it is um, uh, um, um, sensors and equators and all the you know, software opportunities that we have out there to help uh, with how we see the world or how we experience life. Um, it provides with uh, great opportunities for integration of every, every one of us um, into the uh, economy. And then that's not even stopping anytime soon. But even if machines come in to augment or to help us, we still need each one of us to be able to uh, open ourselves up to engage with these experiences. Um, the only way to do that is, whether we like it or not, is opportunities like this. So you're able to learn, go through trainings, go through seminars, um, like the opportunity provided by uh, Life Beyond Disability, whether it's through old school, whether it's through Utiva, through leadership learnings. These are the opportunities that you will have for you to be able to improve and then uh, your experiences as well as learn new, um, whether it be software skills, whether it be hardware skills, whether it be people skills, because right now the computers are, are coming in, they do what computers do, that there, there would be a need for human uh brain power, whether you like it or not. So our people skills, whether it's be communication, whether it's be collaboration, whether it's um, empathy, um, whether it's uh, uh, decision and, and then judgment. Um, so there's going to be a need for us, but the only opportunity is for us to embrace um, these technologies as they come in by uh, educating ourselves on them, um, engaging with them, um, trying to make sure that we're open for business. Um, open for business that we mean is making ourselves available to try them out, even when we are not too sure of it. So, so it's good to experience it even if you fail, but know that failure is part of the process. Failure is feedback. Failure is learning. And then seek out mentorship. So seek out opportunities, whether it's for internship also as well, um, and, and volunteering. It's It's all out there. So um, life beyond disability and other um, pr um, providers out there, try to um, associate with them and then see how you can also share value. I just want to encourage people with disability because I am one of you. And um, while growing up, you get to see people who really want to help us and they are quite sympathetic with me. Let me use myself as an example. 
who really want to help. And because of that, you we, we tend to be not so committed to hard work. We tend to be not so committed. We tend to have, want things freely, or I tend to want things freely. I want a house freely based on sympathy. I want a car freely based on sympathy. But the thing is, as we grow older, the sympathy reduces for me, it reduces. And people want me to bring in value. And when I don't have value, I may end up going back to poverty state or I may end up going back to nobody helping me because I didn't utilize my 20s, my 30s, my 40s very well.